All right, how you doing today? Today we're taking a look at making drum breaks and drum solos in the Logic Drummer. Some cool features that you can do. Please do subscribe to the channel. I've got hundreds of videos about music production stuff in my back catalog here. A lot of stuff on Logic Pro as well and Logic Pro 11. I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff because this just came out. But anyways, let's get into this. Let's just check it out. So what I did here is right now I got this punk drummer, retro rock bass player playing. And then if you just chop up these things, the, the, the drummer tracks, and let's just play the loop here. Basically, you chop them up and you can do all kind of interesting things to get more out of it. So let's just play what I got here so far and then I'll show you what we got. Something like that, nice little break. This is like a punk song, so it's like the, you know, not Neil Perk kind of solo, but we'll experiment with some of the drummers, see what happens. So basically, if you chop up these drummer tracks here into smaller chunks, because by default they're eight, and one thing I always hated about that is that if you have a intense fills, they always put fills on the fourth bar where you might not want it, so you just always have to kind of chop it up. So I chopped up two bars here, and then I have a two bar section here, and then on here, I kind of did like an offbeat chop. And then here as well. And just, you know, experiment. Let's, we'll just go into this here. And then we're going to try, you know, well, I mean, let's not get ahead of ourselves. So basically the drum solo part here, I just took the one block here, put some fills up, turned the tom, or that's actually still a cymbal, but the tom comes in on this part here, change the fills up a bit. And you could experiment too. So maybe we would want to maybe put a bigger fill there. This guy doesn't play a lot on the toms. The drummer that is. Let's see what that one does. So that's the beginning of the solo. So I kind of like what I had before, which kind of breaks in. And you just kind of adjust the different fill sections uh, like that. And we could even, you know, let's experiment here. Let's chop this one up, put a nice cut there. And we can move it over, get some off rhythm kind of things going on. It just kind of like does that. I don't know what that's going to sound like yet, but let's take it from this bar. And then we can have them come back in over here, maybe on the and of four, kind of do that. I don't know how this is lining up, but it gets pretty crazy. And then we can chop it here. I'm gonna add the bass in a second here. Maybe we'll get some like progressive punk rock or something. I don't know what's gonna happen there. But you could get some pretty interesting things here. So we'll chop those up. We'll put, let's see here. Maybe we'll go back to the, leave the toms on, that pattern. And we could also do manual kick and snare in different parts. Maybe that. Maybe, kick, maybe this, kind of leave it like that. how it kind of just fades there, kick and snare. And then we'll put Tom Tom here. Maybe add in, fill them out, go crazy with the fills, complexity. So that's coming out of this section. into the beat. Now let's see if we can add the bass in and see if we get like some crazy kind of grooves going on here. So we'll do that. We'll put one here. And then we'll have this follow the drums. 
East Bay. And we can chop that up as well to get some extra craziness going on here. And we can do like a, maybe we keep the first two bars the same. And then we could take this part here. I'm just chopping this up randomly, of course. And let's put this, we'll do this here, the lowest note. Actually, right here, we'll do the lowest note octave above. So the bass player will go higher, throw some fills in there, more complexity. Right here, just mess this up, see what happens. Actually, we go low, really low notes. I don't know if that's, how that's gonna sound, <laughs> but so let's go here. Let me change up the pattern a little bit. The notes fall in the drums. And again, I'm just doing this randomly, as you can see. And then we can, you know, adjust accordingly. Let's check out what this sounds like. Uh, it gets a little out of hand, so we'd have to make some more adjustments to this part, perhaps. And let's try it with some jazz drum or some other drummer. Actually, we could just switch the drummer here. We could just use what we got already chopped up. Maybe we'll take the East Bay drummer here, make it funk. Yeah, let's do the funk drummy drummer. We just instantly change the drummer. I don't know if we. Yeah, that's that that is sweet. Let's add in a drummer. Let's add in the percussion track. Let's see what this sounds like. That's okay. It's not the greatest, but you could experiment around, put that bass back in. Cool, just experimenting with the tracks here. Lots of fun, I will talk to you soon.